In this devotional, I'm going to share with you three thoughts from Isaiah chapter 22, verses 1 through 8, where we will discuss the Valley of Vision. Isaiah 22, verses 1 through 8 says, The Oracle Concerning the Valley of Vision. What do you mean that you have gone up, all of you, to the housetops? You who are full of shoutings, tumultuous city, exultant town, your slain are not slain with the sword or dead in battle. All your leaders have fled together. Without the bow, they were captured. All of you who were found were captured, though they had fled far away. Therefore I said, look away from me, let me weep bitter tears. Do not labor to comfort me concerning the destruction of the daughter of my people. For the Lord God of hosts has a day of tumult and trampling and confusion in the valley of vision, a battering down of walls and a shouting to the mountains. And Elam bore the quiver with chariots and horsemen, and Kir uncovered the shield. Your choicest valleys were full of chariots, and the horsemen took their stand at the gates. He has taken away the covering of Judah. Isaiah's oracle about the Valley of Vision comes after a number of other oracles concerning neighboring nations and cities that are coming under the discipline of God. You see, the Valley of Vision is a reference to the city of Jerusalem. So what should have been thought of as this high hill upon which the people of Israel worship will become low like a valley, one that will ultimately be crushed under the power of Israel's enemies. It's a prophecy of doom for the people of God, and one that ought not be taken lightly. Here are three thoughts on the Valley of Vision from Isaiah 22, 1 through 8. Thought number one, hill to valley. Mount Zion is the way they talk about Jerusalem. It's the city on the hill. It is the image of what the ideal should be like. It is the place where the worship of God is happened in its fullest. And yet, it is referred to as a valley, a valley of vision, a valley that is going to be seen as being destroyed by the enemies of Judah. This great hill, this great mount, this great representation of the blessing of God will be turned low into a valley so that what ultimately should have been a great and triumphal place would be a place of mourning and despair, all because the people of Judah would not listen and would not repent of their sinfulness. Thought number two, triumph to tumult. The oracle begins with this idea of shouting, of joy, of happiness, of the people of Jerusalem celebrating all of the great things that the Lord has done for them. But this period of triumph, this period of joy, this period of celebration, dancing in the streets, it's all going to come to an end. And all of a sudden, those cries of celebration will be turned into cries of mourning because the people of Israel would not hear the words of the Lord's prophet. The people of Israel would ignore the call to repentance. God's people would not do the things that he has desired and demanded, but instead would chase after other gods and seek the nations around them for help. Thought number three, joy to tears. This is the shifting that's going to take place. The city of Jerusalem that was marked by celebration, all the festal days that would take place throughout the year, would suddenly become the place of tears, the place of grief, the place where the Israelites would think back to during their periods of exile and wonder just what it was that had gone wrong. The joy that they once experienced when they were being faithful to God and He was blessing them would be turned into tears, grief, mourning, sorrow. 
when the results of their sinfulness come crashing down upon them with the fury of Babylonian steel. The Valley of Vision is a prophetic word about God's ultimate judgment. The Lord is going to judge Jerusalem, and it paints a picture for us of what God is ultimately going to do with the world. Ultimately, it will all be judged. And because of that, we must seek favor with God through faith in his Son, Christ Jesus. These three thoughts come to you from the assigned reading of Isaiah, chapters 18 through 22. If you'd like to read through the Bible with me, you can do so by subscribing to this channel, by clicking on the link in the description, or by joining the Facebook group Through the Bible, where we are reading the text of Scripture together.